close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. As the mind is constantly making choices, so make the choice again and again and again. Come back to the breath. Stay with the breath. Stay with the breath. Remind yourself that why you're doing this. The Buddha said, this is how you find your happiness. You get the mind under your control, and you can use the mind for what you want it. He points out many different kinds of happiness in the world. And in John Lee's image, it's like he takes rice and he sorts it out into different grades. Then there's the straw and there's the the coating for the rice. And you can ask yourself, well, which do you want to eat? If you want to eat the good rice, okay, you have to create the causes for the good rice. Everything comes from causes. So where are the causes? They're in your actions. They don't lie anywhere else outside you. So if you really want true happiness, you want to make sure that you create the causes for true happiness. Our problem is that we want so many different things that our actions get divided up in so many different directions. And as a result, there's no great big happiness that comes, just little bits and pieces here and there. You have to look at what, what's out there, what's available out there, what kind of happiness do you really want, and then make sure that your actions fall in line with that desire. And as for any other desires that come and get in the way, you've got to sort them through. Which ones are in line with your main desire and which ones are acting at cross-purposes? And then you have to ask yourself, do you really want to fi follow those cross-purposes? Those cross-purposes just take you all in all different directions. And as I said, the big happiness you want gets scouted into little pieces. So the choice is yours. The Buddha said at the beginning of wisdom as you realize that Long-term happiness is going to have to depend on your actions, and you go ask the right people as to, as to what long-term happiness is and what you have to do to get it. Because there are many kinds of happiness in the world. There's a happiness that comes from generosity, which is good, and the happiness that comes from virtue, which is good. There's also a happiness that comes from being stingy, and a happiness that comes from being unvirtuous. But those kinds of happiness don't last very long, and they end up with a lot of suffering. So I look very carefully at what kind of happiness you're aiming at in life. And then look at your actions to make sure that you want a happiness that really will be long-term, and not just short-term. Because short-term turns into pain very quickly. Long-term is something you can depend on. Or you want something that goes even beyond long-term, and the Buddha says, there's that too. So ask yourself what kind of happiness you want, and then look at your actions. Be very careful to see what you're doing, why you're doing it, and where it leads. Because if you want something really strongly enough, there's a way to get it. And the question is, it, one, is it worth wanting? And two, what will it get in the way of, and what will get in the way of it? You would think that happiness is important enough that everybody would try to think clearly about it, but we think very unclearly. Our th thoughts about happiness are really confused. We're fortunate we have someone like the Buddha to sort things out for us. Say, so if you, this is the kind of happiness you want, okay, this is what you have to do. There are many different paths in the world, leading to many different kinds of happiness. And he sorts them out according to grade. And so what grade happiness do you want? Here you are, a human being. The, the, the opportunity to get the highest grade happiness is here. Do you want that? If so, make sure that your actions are in line with that. Because it is something that we can all do.